All right. Hey everybody, it's Austin here, and I'm going to be showing off my GameCube collection. And by collection, I mean just four games. Yeah. All right, uh, I guess starting off, we have Super Mario Sunshine. Very good game. Definitely an under underrated, underrated one, in my opinion. Uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Yet another fantastic game. It's like, a, it's like a fantastic video game, in my opinion. Uh, Mario Party 7. Definitely, probably my favorite of the uh, GameCube Mario Parties. And this one I just got recently, and still I've yet to play this version of it. Luigi's Mansion. I have the, I do have the 3DS version, which I've played. It's a great game. I, I, I like the, I like the 3DS version, so who knows? Maybe I'll, 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 yeah, I'll get this one. I'll get the GameCube version someday. So uh, you might be making videos over. You already showed off his GameCube collection. Well, might as well show off. Of, might as well show off like at least part of my massive collection of 3DS games. Uh, these are these ones are in no particular order, so let's just start off. We have uh, the 3DS version of Sonic Generations. Yeah, no one really talks about this one. It plays very similar to the uh, Sonic Rush games, which I'm a huge fan of. So this one's a good version. Uh, people don't really talk about this one. Pretty underrated one. I like it. Good game. Uh, this one I just recently got for Christmas, and have and have played through quite a lot, quite a good chunk of it so far. Is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, or as the or, or as the box says here, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gato. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So, uh, Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games for 3DS. I don't have the Wii version, sadly. This one's okay. New Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, it's. Meh, it's probably my least favorite of the new Super Mario Bros. games. Yes, include yes, I including the Super Mario Bros. Game Deluxe, which I think just it's just gar that game is just not good. <sighs> Paper Mario Disappointment Star. At least the soundtrack's good. So at least that stayed consistent with the series. Mario Tennis. Oh, I'm in. Uh, Mario Tennis Open. Yet another 3DS game that no one really talks about. Super Mario 3D Land. Again, great game and not many people talk about. Mario Kart 7. They have Waluigi Pinball in this They have Waluigi Pinball as the stage, but not Waluigi. Okay, and then you add Honey Queen from Mario Galaxy and Wiggler as characters. Okay. I mean, it's... A diverse roster, I guess, but okay. This one's an okay one. I mean, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Um, pretty good game. I have the Wii version. Uh, I've, I've not, I've not been the Wii version. I've only, I've only been the 3DS version. Great game. A little tropical freeze is still better, in my opinion. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh. 
everyone keeps on saying that Dark Moon is the worst in the series. I mean, I've yet to play Luigi Mansion 3. Uh, so I didn't get that for Christmas. Who knows? Might get that for my brother's birthday. Because he, he's also a pretty big Luigi fan. So, yeah. This one, great game. Very underrated. Mario Party Island Tour. Uh, it's, it's a pretty decent game in the series, in my opinion. Not, not, like, usually whenever I do hear people talk about this game, they either say, they usually say it just sucked. Which, really, the only negative things I can find in it is the, the fact that one of the boards is locked behind multiplayer. Which I always found like some sort of like shy themed board that I cannot shy themed board that I cannot remember the name of, and the the quote unquote story mode Bowser's Tower it was pretty lame in my opinion. I mean, hey, this was the last game that featured Boo as a playable character in the series since until Super Mario Party. So yeah. I still think it's okay. It's, it's definitely a, it's an alright game. Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I I love the Mario and Luigi series to death. It is probably my favorite RPG series of all time, right behind Pokemon. So yeah, great game. Although F the uh, Z Keeper boss fight. Just that they can go burn. <laughs> Sonic Lost World for 30S. Everyone says this is the weaker version, which I can't have to agree. It's not that good in my opinion. I I I don't think I don't think Lost World is that bad. I think it's okay. Uh. But what I did not think is okay is this Sonic Boom Shadow Crystal. I did not like this game at all. It's very slow. Just, it's just not that good. I don't like Rise of Lyric either. I, although I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for saying this, but I actually prefer Rise of Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric over Shadow Crystal. Yeah. That probably just got, yeah, it's probably going to give me a bunch of hate comments. Speaking of getting a bunch of hate comments, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. I don't care what Arnold says, Gen 6 is actually, is actually one of my favorite gens of Pokemon. I'd probably place them like, like, second. Uh, it's between Gen 4 or 5 for me. And Gen 4 and 5 are probably a, like a tie for first. I really can't decide which one is better. But yeah, I actually like Pokemon X and Y. Now we're getting in. I think here we're going to be getting into some more of the obscure games that on uh, 3DS and not like... Not many people talk about. Wipeout 3 for 3DS. Love this show growing up. I still watch like the two episodes that appear on the weekends. Uh, from like reruns of the show. So. Great show. Great game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Danger of the Doze. I have not played, I did not play this at all after I got it. I thought it was. Meh. Uh, Wake Out, Create, and Crash. Again, pretty good. Course Creator is a lot of fun. Videos and Verb Quest for Cool Stuff. I'm pretty sure I also have the DS version of this game somewhere. I don't know. Uh, another show that I loved watching growing up and still love it to this day. The game, eh, it's alright. It's me. 
Wreck It Ralph vs. 3DS. And again, I also I think I also have a DS version of this somewhere. Movie? Fantastic. Probably one of my favorite movies of all time. The game? Uh, no. Angry Birds Josie? I have not even touched this game. I like Angry Birds. I think it's a pretty good mobile game. Dinosaurs 3, uh, Combat of Giants, Dinosaurs 3D. I mean, I love dinosaurs growing up. I still love dinosaurs this day. Although, I don't know. This game I just can't really get into. Hmm. Uh, dogs and Cats. Is there Nintendo Dogs, Toy Poodle, plus a new friends? Uh, long title. It's a okay game, I guess. And what do we got for last? Oh dear God! We said we said we said the worst. We said probably one of the worst 3DS games for last. <laughs> okay, no. I was trying to sing the Yoshi Clan theme, but. Yeah. I just cannot sing that with a straight face. It's just, yeah. At least Bandit Valley is a good theme. So. Yeah. Anyway, after this, we got Yoshi's Woolly World. Very fanta fantastic game. Love it. Love Woolly World so much. Probably my favorite Yoshi game in the series. And then Craft World came along and. Eh, I mean. From what I've heard from reviews, it's it's not as bad as New Island, but it's not as good as Wooly World. I, I also just got that game for Christmas, so I'll probably play through it someday soon. Uh -huh. And I guess I'll get to the other 3DS games uh, uh, probably sometime soon. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. We'll get to you. Oh, you.